Jake's waiting to pick up the girls and then headed to Idaho. It's about a four hour drive and he's already out. <laughs> That's the best way to make this trip. I injured my neck. I added a bunch of new exercises in that I'm not, I've never really done before. And so I've just been working on form on them. I'm trying to do things that I'm not good at. If I just keep doing stuff that I'm good at, I'll never get any better. So you really only grow when you challenge yourself in the areas that you suck, <laughs> which is not fun. I always had a really hard time with change or I liked being comfortable. I liked being in a place where I was comfortable. But as I've gotten older, I've realized that um, change is inevitable. I need to make friends with change and not uh, hate it so much. Just knowing that it's gonna happen and don't try to stop it. Just, just go with it and learn from it and embrace it. Because sometimes, actually a lot of times, even though the change can be hard and uncomfortable, when you get through it, oftentimes you're in a better place than you thought you were gonna be anyway. And, um, and it was worth it. I've had people be like, why don't you do some sort of a competition or whatever? Well, I wouldn't wanna compete in something unless I was competing in it to win it. And I feel like in order to be at that level, you gotta do things that aren't necessarily the greatest for your body. And I'm not willing to do that because I'm seeking to be the fittest version of myself that I can be for hunting, but that's including longevity. <laughs> I want to be able to hunt well into my old age if I make it the old age, which that's going to remain to be seen. I always tell people I don't think I was designed for old age. <laughs> If I do, I'd like to be able to be as healthy and strong as possible so that I can hunt as long as possible, so that I can go out by myself and, and, and enjoy adventures as long as possible. Because I know that there's definitely, um, there's an expiration date on that. Like, you know, the harder I work now to bring my fitness level up as high as I can, you know, with that goal in mind, the better off I'm gonna be, the older I get. The longer I'll be able to go out there, the farther I'll be able to go, the, you know, the more adventures I'll be able to have. That's, that's what drives me. I want that feeling, that freedom feeling. It's just, it's so much more alive than I am anywhere else. And I want to be able to chase that feeling as far and as long as humanly possible. Chasing down those adventures by working on the stuff I suck at. <laughs> from the cabin. Mason and I slept here last night. Dixie's eating her breakfast. Is it good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's good. It's and then we're gonna head up to my folks's. Hey bud. <coughs> hey. <laughs> so we're gonna get our stuff together here and we're gonna go to Grandma Grandpa's. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna well, work on we're some... not at well at home. Though. We're at the cabin. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna help Grandma and Grandpa today build some Actually. frame in some walls in their house that they're building. Are you ready to help? Yeah. He is a really good helper. Well, birds are singing. What do you think, Joe? <laughs> That's pretty I got some burn pile work to do. Hopefully get that burnt. Some stuff burnt this weekend. Oh. Oh, okay. oh. Still 
still some snow in the timber down in the shadowed spots. We'll be gone soon. My grand, my great, great grandpa and his family uh, lived here in this old house, and there was a barn that once stood right there. And they farmed this, and this old railroad bed came through here, and the trains would still come through. And my great, my great grandma Kareen can remember the trains coming through and stopping here. This little creek runs through the family property all year long, but it's not very big. It's a small creek. But in the spring like this, yeah. it goes pretty good. Don't get down in there, buddy. Whoa. See how much higher it is right now? Yeah. Yeah. It's going good. I heard the... Let me see if this log floats here. Alright. Play poo sticks? Yay. <laughs> anyway. Let's see who makes the biggest splash. Okay, you ready? Whoa, yours is pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> Get it up over your boots, your feet will be all wet. <laughs> it's really clear. It's just been sitting there. It's all, it's all melted from the snow. It's just snow melt. There. <laughs> Got a little mud bath. <laughs> yes, you did. Where's your squirrel? Where's your squirrel? Get your squirrel. Where's your squirrel? Did you get a squirrel? This one? This one right here? That's a ground squirrel. This brings back memories from my childhood. I bet it does, honey. Hey, he's gotten this one done. Nice. This is gonna be the, this right here is the storage room comes in this way. That, that gate, uh, the storage room. Yeah. Mom's like, well, I'll just switch the plans in the middle. Well, they don't need to line up. <laughs> they really don't. Well, I can, because I drew them up. <laughs> I can switch anything I want. Yeah, it's changing. Mom's like, all right, tear it down, start a <laughs> How about over towards this end? That's pretty much perfect. Okay.
Yes. Yes, in our cabin, the boys say it like yeah. this. Wait, that's what we're yeah. saying. He's saying. Oh, that's cute. I wonder what kind of bird that is. Oh, I hear it a lot, though. I know which one you mean. not exactly what I was expecting this morning. I was gonna get up and uh, burn some piles, but... It's a little cold yet out there. Good morning, Dickie. Good morning, Joe. What are you doing? Yeah. See if somebody's coming. <laughs> Idaho <clears throat> gave us a cold morning this morning. Thanks, Idaho. Today we're headed home, but not till this afternoon. I'm gonna go down to my folks's and drink some coffee. <clears throat> There's a little ground squirrel right there. Yeah. Smell good. <laughs> <laughs> 